So, today is the 14th of March, or as it is also known in these parts, Pi Day. Why is it called Pi Day? Well, because it's the 314 date, uh, because here in America, of course, we um, put the month first. It's not 14-3, it's 314, and that's kind of the two, two digits, um, the number for pi. And I was going to make this, I could have made this a really interesting time that would also give us the first seven digits of pi, and that would have been uh, at 1, 59 and 26 seconds. Um, so then you'd get the 3.141 for 1, uh, 5926, and then you'd get loads of digits. But that's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, this is Pi Day, it's National Pi Day. And I wanted to make a cocktail that would kind of mark that. I mean, I'm not really a big pie guy. So, you know, last year, I think on Pi Day, I made myself a steak pie. Back in England in the day, uh, we often use the phrase porky pies if you're telling lies. You know, porky pies rhymes with lies. Uh, cockney rhyme in slang. Things like uh, um, take a butcher's, that's a butcher's hook. Um, walk down the frog and toad, you might wear your, your whistle. That's whistle and flute, your suit. Um, if you're married, you might be married to uh, trouble. And that's uh, trouble and strife, wife. Um, yeah, it's not gonna get me into trouble just yet, but it could get anyone into trouble. But you can always make things better with a slice of pie, maybe. And people here think of things like cherry pie, you know, like some damn fine cherry pie or something like that. But I didn't have any of that kind of pie in, but it turns out that there is a cocktail you can make for it. I'm glad there's many cocktails with pie in it. So what did I do? I stuck on American Pie by Don McLean. Uh, I'm probably gonna copyright claim on that and I won't be able to monetize any of these videos, but you know, I don't monetize them anyway, so who cares? And the actual pie I'm going to make today is a lemon chiffon pie cocktail. And it was aided by the fact I had some of the ingredients in. I looked up an American pie cocktail and it had a whole bunch of stuff I just didn't have. And you know, came some sort of apple stuff that I didn't have and all kinds of things. So this one I'll make and it's going to be relatively easy. Uh, of course, I always say that, but you know, this one really is. And it's quite delicious. It's a kind of dessert cocktail. So if you've had your, 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 your meal and you're like, oh, I haven't got any pie, and maybe you've got the ingredients to make this. Um, I'm going to put them in, not in the order I normally would, but that doesn't matter because I had to measure out an ounce of uh, lemon that I'd squeezed earlier on and I just left it into this cute little measuring cup with, uh, with one ounce mark on one of these sides. It's got all the different measurements just there. I'm going to throw it into the blender. This is a blender drink, one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's actually a mild lemon, so maybe be a little bit sweeter. One ounce of white or light rum, whatever you want to call it. Um, I am using Havana Club, uh, which is, I, I quite like, it's owned by Bacardi, so it's made in Puerto Rico, so despite the name, it's not made in Cuba at all. That, there's a big litigation between the two brands, Bacardi, Puerto Ricard, who are, are fighting over which is the real Havana Club. This is the one I've got, and it's okay. And then the other ingredient is one ounce of white creme de cacao. Well, it's not the other ingredient, the other alcoholic ingredient. One ounce of this stuff as well. And you can see already this is sounding very cakey, but you know, sometimes instead of pie, people have ice cream or they'll have ice cream with their pie. So of course, this cocktail must have that. We are gonna go for two scoops of, I left this out a little bit to make it a little bit softer, I'm not going to do math, no, no, do as much ice cream as you want, really. But anyway, two scoops, I'm using Ben and Jerry's vanilla ice cream, but it's vanilla ice cream you want to use. That'll give the chiffon -y part of it, but we want to make it lemony as well. And that's why it's got the lemon juice in it. And then the last thing we want to add is some crushed ice. It doesn't have to be crushed ice. Stick any kind of ice in because, you know, the crush just damages the blades a bit less. You don't need too much, just like a couple of scoops, you know, just to make the drink nice and cold. It'd be like one of those blended, you know, smoothie type drinks that are so delicious and sweet. You put on 500 calories of liquid stuff into yourself without realizing it, and then you go up for another one. Anyway, I'm gonna make a little bit of noise here. It's gonna drown out Don McLean in the background. Here we go. <laughs> Unlike my usual shaking or stirring a cocktail, I really couldn't say anything over the top of that. 
but you know, maybe that's not such a bad thing after all. And then we're going to pour this delicious looking concoction. Oh, that looks fantastic, really creamy and delicious. Into our cocktail glass, I'm, I'm using a sort of one that's more, this coupe is more of a dessert sort of shape. I think so that'll work quite well. And then you take your lemon from which you obtained your juice earlier on, and then you're just going to grate some of that zest into the, or onto the top of the drink, so it'll look kind of pretty, which is what you want. I have little speckles of, of yellow on there. Wow, this isn't grating too well, but there, oh, there we go. There it is. And there it is. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that is delicious. Happy Pie Day.